Hey folks, Jerome Forsford here. It's 2.59 p.m. on July 20th, 2023 in West Point Gray, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It's 29 degrees outside and a sunny afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 2.8 kilometers starting by the transit bus stop at West 10th and Tolmy. Then stroll east on West 10th, north on Discovery, east on West 8th and West Broadway, and then north on Alma, ending my track by the No Frills Grocery Store at the Jericho Village Shopping Center. To support the channel, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. For updates, follow me on Instagram at jforcewood. And if you enjoy this video, please smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Point Gray Library is a cooling center. Hey folks, Jerome Forsberg here. Just over in West Point Gray. I was working uh, from home today, so I just caught the bus over after picking up some groceries from the Kitsilano Shoppers Drug Mart, and I thought, hey, you know what? <laughs> I'll get off here and film a video for you through Point Grey and over to Kitsilano because I, I could just jump back on the bus over there show you a little bit of uh, Point Grey there of course I'm uh, right next door over in UBC so fairly close to home just taking her easy today. Point Grey is one of those neighborhoods that's currently in tra transition. It used to be a family friendly neighborhood and it's still quite family friendly, but uh, a lot of the families have grown up and their kids have now moved away. Just wait for this ambulance or fire truck. Is it an ambulance or is it a fire truck? Which one is it? Let's see. It's a fire truck. There they go. I hope everything's okay. Well, yeah, anyways, back to West Point Gray. Uh, a lot of the kids that used to be in a lot of the families that made this area very vibrant are now grown up and moved away. And of course, uh, their parents are the ones that are left behind. So the community has aged. And uh, some homes get sold and other people move in. It's also in a transition too because more and more of the Pan-Asian community is what you find more often here in Vancouver. And uh, they're moving into this area. In addition to that, you have uh, the UBC students and the local community from UBC who uh, may also choose to stay in West Point Gray if they either work or study at that university. Well, what you see is you see different places just uh, pulling out. This, of course, used to be a bar. There used to be a Starbucks here as well. 
and it's Tim Hortons, a whole bunch of other chain restaurants, and they're not here anymore. There's the ambulance. So something must be up. Here's a local burgeroo. Or burgoo. I always want to throw the extra R in, but it's burgoo. <laughs> So the businesses that are still around here are thriving. And there has been a few businesses come and go rather quickly within like three months. There's this nice little Korean uh, convenience store you could go to and get different Korean ingredients at. And it didn't last too long. It was on this part of the strip. Just disappeared. But then uh, other companies are thriving, including uh, Ooh La La Donuts here at the end. And part of the reason that they're thriving, this would be ooh la la. It's because across the street, you can see them since 1964. Well, that's an empty Tim Hortons. And it's our turn, so we can go. So this is also a community with a whole lot of potential as it starts to rise up from a downslide shortly after the pandemic. And I could see, you know, like more housing coming in here. There is more housing coming in on the old Safeway property. Safeway even pulled out of here. A ginormous grocery store. <laughs> Leaving this area with only the top 10 produce. This is the little umbrella. They are awesome. <laughs> Spend money there. <laughs> yeah, of course you got life labs here. Lots of people in there right now. Getting their blood work done and other stuff. <laughs> It looks like a few university students, maybe they're getting some of those specialty S STI <laughs> checks <laughs> or whatever the acronym is now. <laughs> it used to be STDs, sexually transmitted diseases, then it was sexually transmitted illnesses. <laughs> and you just try to keep up with the times. I'll keep walking here. Passing liquid sound. This is like a home theater place. They do like headphones and other stuff too. So, and like record players. They have a purpose. And then of course, the local shell. And this would be one of our convenience stores where you can pick up eggs and bread. And we have the shell down here if you happen to be in this area. Or even if you're in UBC, because you have to go through this zone to get to UBC. So this would be the intersection of West 10th Ave and Discovery. <laughs> and we'll tear off a West 10th Ave now. And we'll go to down Discovery. Just gonna wait for the light to change. It is a little bit of a longer light. Because it's the major thoroughway. Uh, almost our turn. Not quite yet. There we go. So this would be Discovery Street here in West Blake, right?
And it is, uh, I believe, 27 degrees today. Let's just check that. Yeah, it's 27 degrees. <laughs> So, if you have an apartment and you don't have air conditioning, which is actually very common here in <laughs> here in British Columbia, uh, especially here in Vancouver, where the temperature is very, very temperate. Just crossing West Snipe at, and we'll keep it going. You're probably thinking about how you can spend a little bit of time outside because at least when you're outside um, the open air allows you to have a breeze and a little more space. As opposed to being inside where you can slowly feel your home <laughs> increasing in heat as it continues to drop heat. And all of those dynamics. It's good the government's got a new program for people to afford them. So we're crossing West Gate that. And we're at Discovery. And you can see this would be Trimble Park here. Ginormous park. And I did do a walk over here previously for uh, the Point Grey Fiesta. Nice big parking lot here if you're a driver. Interesting mix of more traditional and uh, more modern homes right here. And everything in between. Over here is West Point Gray County. That would be the school our Prime Minister once worked at for I think uh, six months to the year as a drama teacher. There's a little bit of controversy behind his stay there so <laughs> I'll let you look into that yourself. But that is the school. And this is private property. So even though it's open, it is not a place for the public. It is a school. It's a private academy. Such is life. And then on this side, you can see a larger playground, and that playground can't get busy because uh, it's right next to uh, the West uh, Point Grey Academy Junior School. You know, these nice little climbing apparatuses and places the kids can explore kinetically with their <laughs> bodies, you know, like just climbing over stuff, <laughs> hanging from stuff. So very cool. I'm sure the customers of that academy are enjoying themselves.
Little cute walk in here along West 8th Ave. You can see there, there's some kids. Some adults playing in the tennis court at the academy. Homes for sale. <laughs> that one right there apparently is for sale by Victor Kwan. So you can look up Victor Kwan <laughs> and West Day at Ave and look that up if you're interested. On uh, really warm in days <laughs> in the past few weeks, this street has become a bit of a thoroughway for beachgoers. Less in cars and more in bicycles. Once in a while, you'll just see like a, a, an amalgamation of packs of people. And so, different groups of people who have all converged on this road coming generally from the beach and most often from Jericho. And just coming up this street and see the less car traffic, yeah, just makes them a nice bike ride. There's another one of the homes that's for sale, right there. Hmm. There's a big tree in the front. So there's shade on part of your front porch. And Tammy Jin is the one who is helping broker that sale. Nice bright house next to it. I like that paint job. Makes the house pop. I'll continue here on West 8th Ave. And see how this area it's just it's racked with influence and all you know, you're walking in a big open field area right now but you can see the giant trees behind us there's so much uh, so many trees so much shade you know except for like Pacific Spirit Regional Park really UBC doesn't have the same foliage as they have over here they have a lot more trees And that's something you also see uh, less of in uh, the less affluent areas, like uh, what some people would consider would be South Vancouver, um, over by the industrial areas and stuff like that. Not all of South Vancouver, there are some very rich places in South Vancouver. So this is 
West 8th Ave and West 8th Ave. <laughs> this is just how it works out here. <laughs> and once you cross the street here, this street becomes uh, West Broadway. And they're now on West Broadway Street. I always think that's quite humorous. Just look at these trees. You just feel like you're walking through like an outdoor cathedral. There, I'll show you guys. Like that, that view right there, wow. And you're just like seeing the treetops of it too. Coming over. Yeah, just wow. <laughs> Two clicks over back down. Yeah, well, this is what an affluent neighborhood looks like. <laughs> This is really what an affluent neighborhood looks like. And you can see neighborhoods like this in other towns across uh, Canada. Oh, there's another song for sale over here. Let's see. Oh, nice. So Lily Land selling this. Now, because it's over here in West Point Gray, I bet this house is like two to five million. <laughs> and I'm given such a large range just for the fact of inflation and it could be more than that who knows but housing prices over here are very 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 um, on the higher end because of course Vancouver has limited space And this area is obviously zoned as single family detached houses. <laughs> that is changing though. There are a few developments, like I said, on the old Safeway property on West 10th Ave, where we started. Elaine Wu selling this one. Hmm. Cool. So some of these houses are now going up for sale. I used to be able to walk through this neighborhood and not see so many houses for sale. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, look at this. <laughs> they got their mystical good chairs there. They can chill out. <laughs> Very cool. That's just a little piece of uh, Canadiana. Muskoka chairs, of course, being from uh, <laughs> Muskoka, Ontario, and the Muskoka Lakes. And there's a particular lounge chair there for the outdoors that. Uh, has become a bit of a Canadian symbol. Like it's always interesting. You'll see like Canadian symbols like polar bears, but you'll you'll see that when you're going to Thorold, Ontario, uh, just next to the little town next to Niagara Falls, which is the city of Niagara Falls, where the Welland Canal goes through, <laughs> right there at the <laughs> southern Ontario. <laughs> City of Thorold, uh, Heritage Museum, or whatever it is now. Okay, there's a lookout point, and there's Lover's Rock, and then there is <laughs> a polar bear. <laughs> no problem. So, just those interesting Canadian symbols you see 
There we are. <laughs> that goes for Muskoka chairs too. So this would be Highbury and West Broadway. And we're gonna cross the street. <laughs> That's more my size. Well maintained. This one's cute too with the wood. <laughs> and a nice front porch. I do like myself a front porch. Like over there, because that's built on a hill, and those two balconies. Oh man. That's pretty cool. And over here we got a, a new development going in. You can see some of the workers there right now. So they're already putting the foundation. They're just putting in some of the frames for the pillars before they start building. Get that in and then it's just like putting with, putting prefabricated pre pieces of concrete and steel and all everything else together. Of course, digging the foundation, laying the foundation, and then putting in the metal for the foundation as well. That's uh, which is what they're doing right now is often what takes the longest. This is Alma and West Broadway. We'll go down Alma Street. Up here on Alma, at Alma and West 4th Ave, is a little plaza called the Jericho Plaza. And that's where there is a no frills. And that's where I'm actually going right now. <laughs> Just going down to no frills as part of the walk. Pick myself up some uh, <laughs> muffins. I do enjoy their muffins a bit. The price has increased because of inflation, so you do pay more, which is unfortunate, but they do do such a good job. I really appreciate it. <laughs> We've eaten up all of the buns that we bought from TNT grocery store, the savory buns, so gonna go pick up some more of those in a little bit too but probably not today another mission for another day over here is where you can find some towers this would be a Hollyburn property and yeah, there's different companies all over the place no company really owns a monopoly As far, as far as I've seen. It's nice, big, and interesting properties. Now, the only issue is, is that because it takes so long to get a building permit here in Vancouver, which is now changing with uh, new laws, new city laws being built, or changes happening, 
to increase density even on single family detached properties so more families can live on one of those properties. And UTAV on YouTube talks about that with the city of, uh, the, for the city of Vancouver. So we're crossing West 3rd Ave. And we'll continue walking. And West 4th Ave is right up ahead. You can come down to the front door of uh, No Frills with me and at least you'll be able to see where it is. So you can see the Jericho Village Plaza ahead and in front of us. These are some of the stores we're passing right now. They're in the plaza. And if you're a driver, there is a parking lot here that's available for you too. And as far as I'm aware, there's no charge yet. Well, there's a few nice restaurants over here, including across the street. Like, there's uh, local blends as well right here. A and W over here. Cheeky's Cannabis across the street. There's your A and W. They have a nice little slate of patio furniture there too. There is also a uh, Brecca Bakery right up top. So well, we're gonna head on over here to uh, No Frills. And here is No Frills Grocery Store. So thanks for watching. Just remember to share, like, and subscribe. And uh, I'll talk to you later, folks, okay? Have a good day.